Yeah, well, I think that, first of all, um, you know, we just think this is a, it was a great opportunity for the University of Maine and our athletic department to bring statewide value um, to, uh, you know, Portland and the whole region by submitting a bid like this. And we feel that's a big part of our responsibility as universities is to try to drive the economic engine of the state and uh, do our part, do athletics to bring great events here to Maine. So, about three or four years ago, we started to think about this. Um, we, me and Will, Will Bieberstein here at Maine um, said, geez, why, why can't we get one of these regionals in Maine? So the, the thought process started a while ago. And then um, through the icebreaker tournament, which was very successful, it was kind of a first step for us to test and see, um, you know, if that arena could handle such an event, if um, we could handle such an event, and, and the fans responded to it. And that was a, a great success, which really led to us deciding to uh, submit a bid for a regional and subway regional in Portland. So we got together with the Maine Sports Commission and Sheila Nee, and uh, they really were just key players on actually putting this bid together for us. And we were the sponsoring university. It was about a three- or four-month process. Um, once we got actually started on the bid, uh, we pulled a, a committee in, and Sheila really led the charge, tackling, uh, getting all the information we needed we submitted it last uh, Friday, which would be uh, what was the 12th, I believe. So the process going forward is um, the NCAA, where it's competitive. We know we're really proud of the, what we put in. We feel very good about it. But uh, the NCAA will review it, and if they're interested in Portland as a site for the years we've um, said we're willing to host, which are 1920, 2021, 21-22, um, the NCAA will likely, if they're interested, come for a site visit uh, this fall sometime, and they're going to make decisions on all of these uh, locations by December. So it's a pretty quick process as far as finding out, and we really had a great partnership with the Maine Sports Commission and, and others around the state, and we just uh, really feel like we put a, a great bit together. It was a fun process. We built some new relationships, and we uh, we think we got a good shot, and we hope that the NCAA uh, agrees with us. So. Now, a handful of home games for the University of Maine Black Bears men's ice hockey team will be played at the Cross Insurance Arena uh, this season as well. I know the America East Women's Basketball Tournament will be played at that facility. Also, is this a, sort of a thing that the university is trying to gear a little bit more towards the southern Maine part of the state, or is it just the way things work out? I, mean, I don't think so. I mean, I think, you know, first of all, we've always believed that we're all of Maine's team. Um, we're the only Division One institution in Maine. Um, you know, we, we play games in Auburn. We're looking at uh, some clinics that we run in the, in the eastern part of the state. You know, we, we make our way up to Aroostook County to see folks. If there was, a, there was an arena that could hold 6,000 fans in, uh, in Aroostook County, we'd be playing hockey up there once in a while, too. Because we, we take that very seriously, being all of Maine's team, and we want everyone to be Black Bear fans here in Maine. I can tell you um, there's just some irony to the timing with some of the Portland stuff. We certainly draw well down there. We have a lot of alums down there. Um, we've got a lot of Maine fans in that area. So when we play, whether it's basketball or hockey down there, I think we get great crowds. Um, but I can also tell you on the hockey front, um, this year it was just um, a timing deal. When we had our schedule set, um, after that was pretty much done, the Portland Pirates left town and, and there was an opportunity to play some more hockey down there. And we have a great partnership with Cross Arena and just went over there and asked them if they'd have any interest in a couple more games, and Red Red was open to it, and the other teams were open to it, and it worked out that way. But I can tell you what, it, it, it's absolutely no reflection on the Bangor region and what this region means to us. I mean, we're, we're the main Black Bears. We play in the Alphon Arena for hockey, uh, cross up here for basketball. Those, those are our home courts, but we do like to, to spread out and, and share our product with everyone in Maine the best that we can without a – upsetting the local fans, of course, and, and bringing the majority of our games up here in this area. So, Is there any concern that the Cross Insurance Arena might be too small of a venue to be able to host this uh, NCAA regional? Well, that's a great question, and actually one of the reasons we were allowed to submit a bid this time around, um, a couple of things came together. Um, we, we wouldn't have even been able to in years past, but they lowered the NCAA is looking to increase um, the, the experience for the uh, student-athlete. That's one of their top priorities. And some of the regionals have been okay with attendance, but they're bigger or bigger ranks, and they haven't, you know, they may have sold a few more tickets than you could in Portland, but they weren't filling those ranks, and it, you know, just wasn't the atmosphere they wanted for a playoff game. So they lowered that um, requirement down to a seat level that allowed us to submit for Portland before we would not have been able to. 
And the renovations down there um, allowed us to do it as well. And it's not stuff that all the fans necessarily see in the stands, but the, the guts of the building, the locker rooms, the meeting spaces, um, you know, the, the, the lighting, as little as the lighting and that stuff, all met the requirements now to submit the bid. So those, those two things really were the catalyst for us to be able to submit the bid, um, meeting the requirements, along with our desire to seek these kind of opportunities for the state of Maine and for the people of the state of Maine. And finally, Seth, you mentioned a little bit about the timeline, but when would we know, at least initially, if there is a real possibility of this regional happening, whether it be in the 2019-2020 season or so on and so forth? Well, we think we think there is a there's a good opportunity. We wouldn't have submitted the bid if we didn't think we were going to be competitive. So I can I can start by saying that um, we will find out for sure in December. And before then, I you know I don't know how public it would be. We certainly would be be willing to share. But if the NCAA wants to come for a site visit to Portland, um, I would think within their process of making this decision, that's that's a pretty serious statement that uh, they're looking at us as a as an opportunity to to host an event that they take they take a lot of pride in hosting. So, you know, I think that um, you know, we'll we'll have a good feel by, you know, mid fall if we're in the mix and probably talking to our peers and just hearing how the committee works going in the NCAA. But really there'll be no decision that's official till December and we're not gonna we're not gonna get our hopes too high until we find out exactly what uh, the decision is. So